When thinking about adopting the economy as the, the basis for a first year course, it's important to recognize that it does represent a, a step change from what you've, you've uh, done before um, and that uh, you need to think about how you're going to organize the material into the number of weeks, for example, you've got and thinking also ahead a bit about what the second year uh, courses will require. But uh, one of the great things about the core project is that it is a community. We think of it as a community of curriculum innovators. So we've got lots of people who have taught using the beta versions of the economy. Uh, they've taught in very different kinds of institutions, using the material in quite different ways, so that uh, what we would hope to do would be able to match people up with others who, uh, who've, who've, um, who, who've done the switch and who can provide tips that would fit uh, your particular situation. Um, the, uh, in, in terms of resources available, we have got teaching guides and the teaching guides have been prepared by teachers, by people who have already used the economy. Uh, and uh, they, they will give you um, uh, ideas about how to structure a, a whole course, but also much more detailed information about how to go about teaching an individual unit and how to make best use of the lecture time you've got and also to use smaller group time to how to best motivate students to read the ebook before they come to class, to work through some of the interactive examples, to work through some of the questions in the learning system so that in your classroom you can then become freed up to do other uh, uh, engaging student activities. And this may seem like a big cost of switching, but uh, because we've, we've provided so many uh, materials and the experience of other teachers, then it's something to be uh, looked forward to with excitement rather than with fear.